Later in this video, I'm gonna show you some amazing snakes that I finally named. But first, we're heading to FedEx to get our package from South Mountain Reptiles. Hey guys, welcome to another video here at Cloud Colubrids. It's raining outside. We just got our snake. We ran out of coffee, so I had to stop off and get some coffee. We're gonna do a nice unboxing video. I'm gonna show you Phoenix first, and this is gonna be her future maiden here. I'll show you what I got, so stay tuned. All right guys, so I'm gonna show you Phoenix first, my female fire stripe that I got from Sean Nyland at VMS Herps. All right guys, so check out Phoenix. Phoenix is a fire stripe that I picked up from VMS Herps last year. She's just beautiful and she is amel and diffuse. That's what makes the fire. So she's amel diffuse plus the stripe. All right guys, so the box came in a little banged up. It looks pretty good overall. It just had like two little scuff marks on it, which I've ordered snakes before and that happened and the snake's always good. If it was something that I was really worried about, I would have opened it up once I got the snake in my car, but I really wanted to open it up for you guys live while we do this unboxing video. So here we go. I'm always excited when I'm opening these boxes. So we're gonna open this up. So as I open the box, you could see this was banged around a little bit and it actually went through. This is the shipping label. But if you look through here, everything looks to be perfect. All right guys, so on top of the snake, is that nice South Mountain Reptile sticker. I already have a bunch of these. A nice little button that they sent. It says Proud Snake Dad. Now, I actually got a couple of these that said Proud Snake Mom. So, I think this is the first one that actually says Dad. So, I might be able to use this one. And you also get one of those amazing looking business cards from South Mountain Reptiles. That's the other side. And we saved the best for last. The beautiful snake that we ordered. Can't wait to see this guy. All right, so we're gonna open this together. I see him right here and we already have a name for him. So my mom actually came up with the name when we we're talking on the phone. And uh, I love the name that she came up with, so I kept it. So you get this nice little paper towel on top. Oh wow, this is one beautiful, beautiful snake. Check that out. Now this is a striped blood red, a striped blood red, which is blood red and striped. And the female that I have named Phoenix is a fire stripe, which is a male blood red and striped. So this is gonna make a perfect pairing. All right, so you guys could see the nice deep colors. It actually looks like he might be shedding soon. And uh, his belly has some nice whites on it. All right guys, so we have an overcast. It's starting to get a little bit dark out here, but I just wanted to show you this male blood red out here in the natural lighting. I want to show you guys his belly. Look how nice and saturated with that orange and red that is. Very similar to Phoenix, but more red. Hers is more so orange. And look at this guy. He has a nice faint stripe to him. 
All right, guys, so I decided to go with the name that my mom picked, and his name is Mercury. So now this guy, he's really, really active, which is a good sign. He did well in the shipping, even though the package got dinged up a little bit, he came in perfectly. And uh, Don Sutterberg, one of the best in the business, probably the best corn snake breeder there is. So now I'm gonna put Mercury in his bin. I have a nice bin for him in the rack, and uh, I think it's time for him to relax, and I'm gonna show you Phoenix. All right, guys, so take another look at Phoenix and this beautiful natural lighting. Now, I'm gonna be putting Phoenix on an every four day feeding plan. So every four days, she's gonna get fed for about six to seven months. Look how beautiful she is. So we're just trying to get Phoenix up to size and I'd say 2024, she'll be ready to breed with Mercury. So how you guys like the way the labels are coming out on the bins? It's a lot of work. I got a lot of snakes, but uh, I think they're coming out pretty nice. Guys, I just wanted you to know I finally named this girl and her name is Dottie, D-O-T-T-Y. So you know this beautiful buckskin okatee that I picked up from South Mountain Reptiles. This female is extreme. Look at that, beautiful. Now I think I had a name for her in the past. I mentioned Elizabeth, but I just didn't feel that was fitting. I didn't write it down on her card. And now I have a good name for her that's gonna stick. I love it. So meet the beautiful, the one, the only Eleanor. That's right, Eleanor. It's such an elegant name. Has a lot of history to it. And I think that's a perfect name for this beautiful queen. Now there's a nice close up on Eleanor. Eleanor is such a beautiful girl. And I can't wait to see when she's about the size of paprika, say in about two years, because these just get deeper and deeper colors and the patterns intensify. So I could just imagine what she's gonna look like. And uh, hopefully in the future, we could pair her with an amazing male and make some amazing babies. All right guys, I'm so happy that it stopped raining just for a little while so I could show you guys the snakes. It seems like it was meant to be. And I'm just so happy because it's like we have Phoenix here, we had Mercury here, the stars aligned and they just collided. And soon they'll be making beautiful babies and I'm glad you guys are here so I can unbox them before your very eyes. All right guys, so now I'm gonna go back inside, make a nice dinner, then check up on Phoenix and Mercury and all the rest of the snakes. Paprika had her prelay shed yesterday. I'll show you guys what she looks like at the end of this video. And I'm just glad you guys are here to show all of these amazing, amazing reptiles. With that, I'll catch you guys in the next one and be safe.